What's up guys, Coach Bobby here. We just finished our athletic training class, my virtual sports uh, strength, conditioning, speed, and agility virtual class. All right, so I'm gonna go over a few drills we did today for those who were in the class because it was so fast and we get after it that I don't have time to explain what we're doing. So many of you guys know that I've trained that most of what I do especially from a, a quickness standpoint, can be done with the line, right? All the kids know about ladders, right? My son has created a ladder in our garage. Uh, all the kids now have used ladders. When I was young in training, they didn't have ladders. So we had to use lines. I, I created drills with lines. So most every drill you can do with a ladder, you can do with a line. So outside on the cement with chalk, right, inside your garage or your, or your hallway with tape or imaginary, just imagine a line in front of you. So we did six drills at the tail end of our workout, all in succession, all quickly. I'm gonna go over every drill for later consumption for all the parents and kids who don't get it in the, in the workout, they can go back and look at it. All right, so we do a, a, a single leg ski jump. Okay, every drill we do, the intent is to be close to the line, right, and go back and forth quickly. Right, when we do, when we do this in a, in a group setting, we'll go straight in a line, right? We'll go forward, right? But you don't have to. And, and what's cool about how I train is it fits virtual workouts because you don't need space, right? A line is all you need, all right? So the ski jump, the single leg ski jump, is the lines here, you're going back and forth as fast as you can go. We're trying to have the knee bent straight with a slight bend, and you're going back and forth quick, all right? We do that both ways. We go right leg down, right by itself, then we go left leg down by itself. We did, all, we did 15 seconds on, 15 reps, right? After that, we do two leg ski jumps. Same concept, stay tight to the line. You're not going wide and slow. You want to go tight and quick. Tight and quick. All right, so we go right leg ski jump. We go left leg ski jump. We go on both legs ski jump, all right? Then we did X jump, X jumps. Now it gets a little bit challenging for some kids, all right? So we're trying to be tight still, right? Not wide, tight. And we're going across like an X, right? Right leg over left first. We always come back here, right? Then we go left over right. Many kids will get mixed up and they'll try to do it all in one motion, right? You always come back to here, right? Right over left, back, left over right. So it's here, it's quick. Again, not moving. You can move if you have space, right? You can go forward if you want, but you don't have to, right? So that's X jumps. So we did right leg ski jumps, left leg ski jumps, we did double leg ski jumps, then we did X jumps, all right? Then I have my kids do up and backs, right? So you go one, two, one, two, right? You go right, left, right, left. Now it doesn't matter which leg goes first because without, you're trying to train your body. When we go side to side, especially, our inside leg goes first. You go right, left, right, left, right? Right, left, right, left. That teaches your body, right, on the last step before you go to your right, the last step you push off of on, push off on is your left, right? So when you go to your right, 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 left, right, left, that last step is your left step, your left foot. That teaches your body to push off, right? So it doesn't matter. If you do the opposite, if you go left, if I'm going to my right, I go left, right, left, right, the last step is my right inside leg. I can't press off this leg and go that way, which means I must do another step. So by doing this, you're teaching your body, right, to press off that back leg and go, right? To press off that back leg and go, right? Back leg and go, all right? So it doesn't matter which leg is first. So we did, again, stationary, right? So it's not as important, we're not moving, but I still wanna train it, right? So right, left, right, left, right? So here, quick, again, tight to the line, right? Not big steps, right? 
quick steps and tight to the line, right? So we did a round of right, left, right, left, and then a round of left, right, left, right. Again, we're not moving side to side. You can, which is why we do this, if you want, but you don't have to, all right? So we did right leg ski jumps, okay? We did left leg ski jumps, right? We did both leg ski jumps, right? We did X jumps, and then we did right, left, right, left, and then we did left, right, left, right. All quick, right? Now it gets tough. Now it gets tough. Now we do a crossover run, right? It's a hip movement more than feet. They're all quick feet drills, but this one is more hips, right? So our whole body is on one side of the line, right? The outside leg goes across your body. You turn your hips. So that's called crossover, right? So not your inside leg, your outside leg, right? So it's going to be one, the one is across the line. The two and three are getting your body and hips back here before the right leg or the opposite leg is across the line again with the one, okay? So it's going to be one, two, three, turning your hips, right? One, two, three, right? It's a hip drill. So if you dance a lot, it should work. You should be good at this, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, every step is across. It teaches you to be precise. Right, if you go too wide with it, now I'm stuck out here, I can't get back. So these drills teach your body to be precise. When you're playing sports, right, you want to minimize any wasted movement. Right, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, causing your body, turning your hips, all right? The next one we did was a little trickier for some people. For some, it's easier for some reason. Now it's crossover, now it's cross under. Right, again, the first step, the one, is across the line. But instead of going this way, we're going behind us. We're crossing under. Right, so it's one, again, hips. Right, one, hips turn, two, three. Hips turn, one, two, three, hips turn, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, tight to the line, turn your hips. Like you're dancing, like you're dancing, like you're dancing, all right? That's hip, that's across under, right? And we end off with one, two, one, or Heisman's, right? One, two, one, right? One, two, up, one, two, up, one, two, up. Most kids can do that one. And some kids will use a ladder, right, to do it, which is fine. But you don't need a ladder, guys. So we did ski jumps to the right. That's one. We did left side ski jumps. That's two. We did double leg. That's three. We did X jumps. That's four. We did right, left, right, left, that's five. We did left, right, left, right, that's six. We did crossovers, that's seven. We did cross unders, that's eight. We did Heisman's, a one, two, one, that's nine. That's nine, we did it, 15 on, 15 off, that's nine, 30 second increments, right? 15 on, 15 off, four and a half minutes. We did two rounds for nine minutes. If your kids do that every day, from now until we're done with this coronavirus, I promise you, they will not lose any steps. It might actually get quicker, right? So try it out, join my class, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at 3.30, we do quick stuff, we do explosive stuff, we do strength, ab work, and conditioning. All right, have a great weekend, I'll see you guys soon.